Wow, okay. I'm not sure if I've ever started filming a video this early. Hey friends, what's up? And welcome back to my channel this week. As you can definitely tell, I am not exactly put together right now. That's because I just woke up pretty recently and I've noticed myself start to already fall into like a summer routine pattern. So I figured today I'll just pull my camera out and I can kind of take you guys with me along it and you'll see the transformation from this to whatever the heck I transform to. How is it that I'm 30 seconds into editing this and I sound absolutely insane? That sounds like I'm gonna become like a bug or a creature or something. I think you know what I mean though. No, I can confirm. I don't know what you mean. Which is really, really early and I used to be in a really bad sleeping pattern where I wouldn't even wake up until like 10 or 11 in the morning. For whatever reason this year, I just fell out of that. And it's actually kind of cool because I can actually take my time getting ready in the morning or if I have an early shift at work, it's kind of convenient. So this morning is pretty laid back and I figured, you know what, we can make ourselves some breakfast, we can straighten my hair, do my makeup nice. So starting at the very beginning, getting my fun little straightener out. Usually this is the point in time where I would ask Alexa to turn on the radio and then I would listen to music while I get ready. But because of copyright reasons, I can't exactly do that today. So while it's heating up, I'm gonna spray this all over my face. Mario Badascu skincare spray with aloe, cucumber, and green tea. I use this stuff literally every day and this is the bigger bottle. As you can see I've already gone through a ton of it and it's just supposed to keep your skin healthy. It doesn't say it on the bottle but I think the bigger one was only $14 and I have had this for at least two to three months. We'll just like prep to do my hair next. I take a fun little scrunchie and I just take the front section of my hair and I just tie it off, which honestly like isn't a bad style in itself, but when it's all straight, like it, it just looks nicer. I don't want to burn myself, but I feel like it's fine. I usually just tie up these specific pieces because if I don't, I tend to straighten the front ones to death. Meaning if I don't tie them back, I end up going over them way more than I should. And then the ones that are underneath don't get enough attention and then they end up being curly anyway and mess up the look. Just a girl with a straight I am loopy at 8 a.m. That was one of many instances where I will just start singing to myself. Pretty fun. I'm not gonna bore you through this whole process so I'm going to flash forward to whenever I finish straightening. Eventually. It's officially 9.03 and I've completed straightening my hair. I spent more time than I normally would straightening it solely because I have more time and now we can do the actual makeup stuff. Starting with this here beauty blender, which I'm gonna go rinse under the sink real quick Learned that tip from my friends to like wet it before you use it as you can see I've used it quite a bit So now it's nice and squishy I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a summer haul But recently I went to Sephora with Julia and I got a good amount of makeup and when I say good amount I mean three products, but for me that's a lot especially because they were like higher-end products This right here was the most expensive thing I bought but I know I'm gonna get a ton of use out of it Tarte BB tinted moisturizer. It's not necessarily a foundation, but like it acts like it and it does doesn't have to be set or anything. I can just put it in place and like go on with my day. And it's pretty good coverage and it also has SPF 20 sunscreen in it, meaning I don't have to worry about putting sunscreen on my face necessarily and like putting that over my makeup, especially because my face burns really easily. So having this on is a really good thing. Everyone has their own process of how they apply makeup. I usually just put it directly on the sponge and then I just kind of go for it and like put the dots on that way and then just blend it until it's all blended. I always have to be super careful about not getting it in my eye because I also put it where like concealer is normally put under my eyes but you see I don't use concealer because this stuff does the same effect as long as something is on my face I feel more prepared to go on with my day I also put it over my eyelids to act as like eyeshadow primer I think that's good for that next my little eyebrow comb which is not exactly holding up right now I really wanted to buy this exact same one but I got it so long ago that they don't even like make them anymore and the ones that are on Amazon are like way overpriced I'm trying to decide what I want to do next I'll just put on this next I know it's out of order going along with the SPF makeup trend <laughs> instead of using any kind of like lip product I just use sunscreen lip balm the coconut set from 
<laughs> scent. The coconut scent from Sun Bum is really, really good. And it's really, really moisturizing, which is good. Usually chapsticks like somehow dry out my lips more than moisturize, but that one actually works. They make Ma oh my god. I was about to say, I think makeup is next. That's literally everything I'm doing right now. Okay, I'm not really sure what color to do. I don't think I'm gonna do like a bold color. I've really wanted to use this palette though. I already have an outfit in mind for when I go to the beach this summer and I have a makeup look in mind that I'm gonna do with it. It's a little bolder than I normally do, but like I think it'll look really nice. Today we're just going with a nice little neutral look. I'm gonna take the same brush I always use. We'll go the extra mile. I usually don't show every single step. I'm gonna take this fun little shade up here. It's like a very, very soft brown and just put that all over over the lid and the other eye. If anyone saw my you need to calm down reaction that I recently posted, this was also a new makeup product that I had purchased and I decided to wear it in that video. It is bold, but it is really pretty and it also acts as like a highlight. I might just use it as a highlight and maybe a dot in the inner corner. So I'm just gonna do that. I'm just gonna put like the tiniest bit in the inner corner. I can even Minute. Oh, frick. No. Nope. Oh, it got all under my eye. That is not what I wanted. Oh, no. Okay, I didn't think it would mess up that bad. Well, we can still use the extra here. I should not have used my fingers for that. That was my own dumb fault. That's why we have makeup remover. I use this brush because I don't really use it for anything. So when I make mistakes, I just dip it in remover and kind of brush it away. That's doing stuff. Just gonna cover that up. I guess we'll just add like a shimmer shade. A shimmer shade. Usually I rotate between these three. I think we'll do this one today because it's kind of lighter. I kind of gravitate towards the lighter shades. I have not used any of those bottom ones. You probably can't tell because the lighting in my room is not the best right now, but it definitely is shimmery. And then for the inner corner, because I'm not going to ditch it and leave it behind, if I don't use the shimmery stuff, I use this palette and I use the top left shade. So I'll just add that ever so carefully. And then we move on to mascara and then I'm going to use my Too Faced Waterproof Mascara and it actually is supposed to rain today. I just bought the waterproof because it was the same price as the normal one and why not get waterproof and have like an added bonus? Oh, oh, she's not turning out. It's clumping so bad. Okay, confession. I actually bought another one, but I've been procrastinating opening it. As soon as I open the new one, I'm gonna have to throw this out and it's just so expensive. I don't have it in me to throw out $24 mascara. I'm sorry. This has been so long over overdue to be replaced though and makeup is one of those things that you really should replace and I know mascara has like a three month rule from the time you open it it's been way over three months okay I think I just convinced myself to finally throw this one out it is just not doing its job I think we somewhat revived it not the best job I've ever done not the worst job I've ever done my hair has already decided to rewave itself I think it's officially time we say goodbye to this old mascara next time I go to use mascara it should hopefully be cooperative. This one is way overdue and done. I think that's it for the makeup part. I don't think I missed anything. Oh, okay, outfit. I think I'm gonna put my hair up just because it doesn't give away that it's curling. It looks better than it did at the beginning of this video. All that has brought us to 9.29 a.m. So it's been about an hour since I started filming and two hours since I've woken up. I feel pretty energized. I could go for a walk. I could make myself breakfast, which is what I'm leaning towards. I'm gonna go pick out an outfit. Today's outfit will be my DECA ICDC shirt and athletic shorts. Comfortable, easy. Yeah, so I'm gonna go do that. Eventually. Outfit is complete. Um, that sounds so weird, like not a normal sentence. Officially done with the outfit, and I actually like how everything looks all put together. The effort today was there like slightly more than normal. Don't forget to unplug your iron, as if anybody's following along with me. <laughs> so if I haven't already, which actually I, thinking back, did this when I woke up right away, I check my phone first thing in the morning, go on all my socials and stuff. I'll listen to some music to jumpstart my day, even though I think I already said that. Something else I do. I'm trying to go through like my phone routine, if that's even a thing. I'll check my messages. So socials, email, YouTube stuff, and outside of that, it's just whatever I'm feeling. Oh, my lights. <laughs> Usually in the morning, I'll change it to a really fun color. So today was just like a normal neutral light blue, normal lighting for the video. On a normal morning, it would usually be like purple or blue like this. Sometimes if I'm feeling fun, it can be green or pink or whatever. I am obsessed with these lights. If you didn't already know, we're just gonna stick to normal for now. I'm gonna go make myself something to eat. So let's do that.
and we have officially returned back to my room with a bowl of Rice Krispies, which is usually my go-to, this or Frosted Flakes. After I eat breakfast, I usually just sit and watch Friends on TV, which has been my go-to binge-watching show recently. I'm on like season three right now, so I have a long way to go, which is good. It keeps me busy for summer. And that is about it for my morning routine. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. I kind of like how it was laid back, and it was everything I normally would have done in the morning, except documented. If you actually watched this point and you watch me do my makeup and pour my cereal. You're a real one. Thank you. Also, if you haven't already pre-ordered Lover by Taylor Swift on iTunes and Spotify and all the music streaming platforms, go do that. You won't regret it. It's going to be a very, very good album. And with all that being said, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, that whole thing. And I will see you guys next week. Bye! Alexa, play You Need to Calm Down. Once you open the... And once I... I can't speak. You know what? I might- Oh god. My nail can't chip.